Out of control, volunteer firefighters demand income support, equipment. The president of the body representing thousands of volunteer firefighters is demanding immediate income support and masks for firefighters, warning the situation is now out of control. Here's a summary of the article. Nick Holton, the president of the Volunteer Fire Firefighters Association, accused Prime Minister Scott Morrison and New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian of ignoring rising public concerns. The intervention follows days of rising fears about the sustainability of NSW's firefighting operations as personal bills mount for exhausted volunteers grappling with months of fires down the East Coast. New South Wales Rural Fire Service Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons has been reticent to raise the issues with Mr Morrison and Ms Berejiklian amid the ongoing crisis, focusing resources on fighting fires which have now burned through 3.4 million hectares in the first weeks of summer. Mr Morrison said once the crisis had passed, the government would review how they could better support fire commissioners to raise a volunteer force. Mr Holton said Mr Morrison obviously doesn't look at social media and as the fires had endured, the need for financial and other support had become more urgent. Labor leader Anthony Albanese on Monday proposed a new national strategy that would examine funding, aerial support and compensation for volunteers and businesses who support staff while they are fighting fires. Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg criticized the Morrison government's response to the fires on Monday. This post received a score of 6,044, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. These people aren't working their regular jobs because they are fighting fires. Unless you want them going back to work you have to support them. That or proper state fire protection plus proper funding. Ausgov, you can't have a system that completely relies on volunteers and have no support network for them. That does not make sense. They will be forced to give up the fight for lives and property so they can go support their families leaving massive fires undefended. Greater than leaving massive fires undefended. Whoa whoa, whose side are you on here? We need to fight fires not defend them. Honestly wondering if this is the year we'll say we began losing Australia. Edit, if you feel like donating towards preventing this, or helping out individual firefighters, this is for you. This sort of thing has been happening for a few year now, 2019 confirms it if you ask me. Can you elaborate for a non-Australian? Record droughts in the early 2000s, followed by record rainfall causing floods followed by another record drought which is causing record bushfires. Which is, exactly what climate scientists have been predicting. A worsening of extremes which wreak havoc with our ability to establish and maintain infrastructure and food security. Edit, record droughts that started in the early 2000s and went on into the early 2010s. But it's cold in the Arctic. There are snowballs in Congress. Only the ones they're giving themselves because we're too stupid to stop falling for the partisan BS. This is what Australians voted for when they elected a far-right, coal-owned, climate-denying government, again. Australia used to have a carbon tax but it was repealed, it only lasted a couple of years. There are very few polluting nations who are committed to reducing their pollution outside of Europe. Far too much money involved. This fuckers are even thinking on taxing electric cars instead. Impressive while the country burns. How the hell are they selling that? Roads are paid for through fuel taxes. Electric cars use no fuel, so therefore need extra taxing to pay for roads. Roads are also paid for via licensing, tax, registration, etc. Plus the electricity that powers the cars is taxed. All true, but fuel excise is as close as we can get to a per km usage charge right now. Also, petrol-powered vehicle owners pay those same taxes as well. Greater than, the fact that they haven't asked for federal support indicates that they believe they have the situation in hand, Mr. Holton said. In other words the fact that the political appointees haven't asked their bosses for money means it must be all right. When you have to crowdfund equipment to fight fires, you know something's wrong. Also this whole idea, now's not the time to talk about it, reminds me of Fox News after every mass shooting. They count on something new to distract people from reviewing what happened. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.